Welcome back. 616, the countdown on to the 96th Annual Academy Awards. Well, Hollywood is gearing up for the Oscars on Sunday, and that includes our Marcus Allen, who's live in Los Angeles this morning. Mark, what can we expect from Sunday, and what are you doing with a dumpster bin? Look, it's all hands on deck. I'm just doing whatever I can to help them out so that they're ready for Sunday for the Academy Awards. I'm gonna walk you through the process. Gone are the days where paparazzi are seeing them actually step out of their limousines onto the carpet. Uh, there's a pre-holding area back there. Then they'll come in here. This is the moment where your celebrities get their last looks right before they walk out on the carpet. So Oprah will have a mirror set up. She'll get the look in the mirror, make sure she looks good, as will all the other Academy Award stars. And then they walk out and then Boom, there are gonna be about 300 photographers. This is just the area where they take their still shots, where all of the press are shouting at them, look my way, look my way, no, I wanna to talk to you. Um, then they'll stop right here, they'll be talking to ABC Network, the very first big interview, right before they hit the rest of the red carpet. And then about a quarter mile that way, that's the other, you know, the heaps of the likes of me getting ready to talk to them. Jimmy Kimmel, again, the host this year. Uh, he's done a great job juggling all the things that happen because there are a lot of surprises that happen in the Academy Awards. And that's specifically what I said. How do you handle the surprises and stuff? Take a look. How do you prepare for a live show and unpredictable stuff? Well, um, you can't predict the unpredictable. I've found that. In fact, it's the very definition of the word. But you can be, you have to have experience. Really, that's the only thing you could do. And to be honest, sometimes I hope things go wrong because it, it mixes things up a little bit. You don't want things to be, you don't want everything to be too wrap, not neatly wrapped up in a bow. You want a little bit of mess. You want a little bit of risk. And it is a live show and you want to remind people of that. So if something happens, which has, things seem to be happening a lot lately, I feel like I'll be ready for it. <laughs> no doubt he will be ready for it. Uh, like he's handled some things, uh, the slap. And one time when La La Land got announced as the best picture, when in fact it wasn't. I don't know about you, but it's a little disconcerting to see Oscar shrouded up like this. I, I'm worried that he's not breathing in there. Uh, check it out. Uh, again, it's the red carpet this year. Gone, their idea of doing the champagne carpet. It's back to the traditional red. Uh, everyone I've heard loves this idea. And uh, I ask you, what is your favorite movie? What are you rooting for? I'll tell you right now, Oppenheimer is going to take a lot of awards and make history. But how about you? What are you hoping for? Oh, Oppenheimer for sure. I, I didn't realize when I was watching that movie, Mark, that it was really all about the scientists. I thought I was going to see more explosion, but I loved all the learning I did in that movie. It was a slow build, but the end, it was good. Yeah, exactly. I was a C plus student, so clearly I was reading nothing in high school. I loved everything that I learned about Oppenheimer. And, uh, you know, th that's pretty much why I watch movies all together. So I don't have to read. Kids, don't do what I do. Be sure and read. <laughs> but be sure and take a look at the Oscars on Sunday night and take a look at my new show. It's called Take a Look. I'm going to have Killian Murphy and the rest of the stars of Oppenheimer, as well as the other movies. Oh, look, there's some wooden Oscars. Can I get you a wooden Oscar? I'm going to have three of these on eBay by noon. Back to you. Yeah, I'd love to have one of those on my desk. And speaking of take a look, you have the trailer to that new show posted on your Instagram page. So if you guys want to get an inside look at what it'll be like, go check out Marcus Allen on Instagram. Mark, thank you.